Hey guys, back again for the Movie Minute. This is the third week, and third week we're talking movies, and uh, with us again is the is the man, uh, the movie man, the guy that watches way more movies than I do, I do. the guy that's got a frequent flyers card with, to the local uh, Cineplex. It's uh, Mlango, uh, on the line, at Rambling Mango. Hey, what's going on, guys? Of course, the mind behind the ramblingmango.com. So what do you got for me this week? All right. So this week, unfortunately, will be a short week. A lot of stuff's going on. But we'll try and make it uh, quick and awesome. Or You're a busy awesome man. You, you got all those quick. monitors behind you. You got all that work there. You're making, you're making magic over there in that, Animation. in that undisclosed company you work for. Yep, we're giving Disney a rush for its, uh, oh, yeah. for its money. Oh, yeah. That's how we, that's how we do it. All right, so the uh, last week, uh, a couple of movies came out, or the big movie that came out last week was um, the Prisoners movie. And uh, I, unfortunately, was not able to go see that. Okay. Did you see that, Mike? Uh, <laughs> the answer is, <laughs> until Thor, the answer is going to be no. <laughs> <laughs> is Thor the big one that you're waiting for? It is. I, well, I, I, we explained this before on the show that the, like, the movies I go for, I really don't get out to get too much unless it's yeah. like the Avenger movies, uh, like a comic book movie. Um, it has to be a pretty big deal to get me out there anymore. Um, the three movies that I've seen this year are all coming to me on DVD. I already got my Star Trek 2 DVD. Uh, actually, I got a Blu-ray combo <laughs> pack. I don't even have a Blu-ray player, but oh, I got man. an HD digital uh download so i'm cool with that um iron man's coming uh, uh this week uh, i got man of steel and that's it you know i mean well you but you've seen these already right I, yeah i have seen these and they're the ones that i want to own for my collection this is how i work as far all right as so you just go for you the ones the that you would want man. for your you collection tell me what you maybe maybe you'll get me excited about some of these and i'll i'll get my butt out to the theater well prisoner was the hugh jackman movie and the other one with uh uh, the guy from Jake Gyllenhaal. Jack Gyllenhaal, yes, and that movie actually did pretty well in theaters. Uh, the Good. fan ratings were about ninety percent on Rotten Tomato and eighty percent from the critics. Mm -hmm. So if you average that together, I mean that that's a movie that actually did pretty well. Fans like that movie more than the critics. And this was so kind I, of a thriller. It was it was something a little different, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you're in that wheelhouse of um, of kind of like those drum not not so much law and order but more like criminal minds yeah if you if you like that kind of stuff which i do so it, i was kind of frustrated maybe i'll go see it this weekend so i can give a more detailed review of how excited i i will be excellent well but yeah what else we got it yeah it grossed it grossed 20.8 million so yeah it did really well Good. but the movie this week that i definitely uh i I wouldn't say I definitely wanted to see, but the movie that I did check out this week was uh, Rapture and Palooza. So this is a big one. Um, actually, I don't know. This actually did not do well in theaters. I hadn't heard about it. You say this is with the guy from, from The Office? There he is, uh, if you're on the video. Um, so what, what, what's, the, what's the premise of this one? Uh, so this one is another Rapture uh, parody. It's a comedy. Uh, called, it actually, the the it's listed under comedy, fantasy, and I think like uh, drama or something silly like that. Mm. Yeah, it's basically it's basically just the, another rapture spin. And like, it's really weird. They uh, <laughs> the one funny note that I put is they start the movie on this is based off of a true story. <laughs> So I found that I found that pretty hilarious. But the, sadly enough, you can get everything that you need to get from this movie from the trailer. Really? Yeah, all of the jokes, everything that was funny about it in the trailer. But um, and that's, there were... and that's a shame because you got to put enough in there to get you to see the movie, and then and then. You get all the jokes, you see it on TV, you know, a month in advance or months or, you know, depending. And then there's like, yep. like, well, why did I see the rest of it? You know, I mean, this is an ongoing problem. And I think, you know, you got to think movie trailers are made from a different company that made the the, tra the movie, right? Yeah, so definitely. I think it's just them kind of being lazy, you know, or, or don't really understand what the movie is about, which really seems to be like the constant 
Yeah, and I mean the sad thing was this they had an A list cast. Like a lot of a lot of people were joking that this was basically the same cast from the uh hot tub time machine. Yeah. But I mean like you got Anna Anna Kendrick, who I actually like. I think she's a really good actress. I mean she's she's attractive, but I think she's very talented. I you know, so I liked her. You have John Francis uh Del- Delay for people that like Bones, he is your therapist in that one. Sweet. Uh, the- That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, the, I think the big, the big. Well, I don't know if this was the big kicker, the big star, but maybe like his big debut besides Hot uh, Hot Tub Time Machine, Craig Robinson, who played who plays the devil or the Antichrist in this movie. Um, I don't know. It just it, there are a lot of people in this. Yeah, Rob uh, Cordray. Cordray, yeah, yeah, who's in this. And it's just like, yeah, you had a lot of people. So, and even Ken John is in this. So, Paul Paul Shear from uh, from the league. So, yeah, it was just a little depressing. <laughs> By the way, I gotta point out because I pulled up the movie. Um, I I pulled up the movie on Google, and you know they've been doing a whole lot here. So I, I clicked on Rob Corddry under Rapture Palooza because I got the whole card thing, and now I have like the entire cast, and I can look up each cast member. On yeah. like individually now on Google. This is amazing. Uh, Google Google's been doing really good context uh, sensitive stuff, and now you can like, oh, this is definitely a tool we can use here on the show. Yeah, definitely. So, but I mean, ultimately, I forget what movie. Um, it's it's I can't remember it off the top of my tongue. But uh, with with Seth Rogen, uh, I think this is the end. I think this is the one that was uh, compared to that movie. Yeah. And in comparison, I mean, I thought this was the end. Started off good and then definitely drops off at the end. But comparatively, I would say that that movie is one that I would spend my money if you were going to. Between the two, I would spend my money on that one. Isn't that one just coming out on DVD as well? Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, if, if, it's, if, you, if there's a red box near you, I would definitely uh, trot over and pick that one up. Awesome. But, yeah, it was, yeah ultimately, I, 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 don't, I don't think I would recommend The Rapture unless you're a fan of, the, of that cast or those people and you just want to sit through that. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even recommend it for Netflix. Wow. Don't even wait, don't even wait for it to come in the mail. So The Rapture is a bust this week, it looks like. <laughs> yep. So uh, yeah, let's let's continue. Uh, do you want to do a plug? Yeah, I wanted to mention we're we're really kind of pushing for this uh, for a friend of the show, Alexander Cars, does a lot of uh, the artwork uh, around Sorgatron Media uh, for the DVD covers for a lot of the great T-shirts we have over for the Wrestling Mayhem show um, over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Um, but there's one uh, big project, of course, coming up. Um, our friends from InsertCoinToBegin.com will be doing a 24, 20. I'm sorry, 25 hour marathon uh for extra life uh and you can get a t-shirt at teespring.com uh slash i c t b sorry (laughs) um and it's a pretty cool shirt and for you video guys here i'm going to pull it up here um it's it's a cool uh pac-man style uh uh uh, kind of outline and says peace out son i'm ghost uh with the insert coin to begin.com it's only 10 bucks um i think that includes shipping and handling i can't recall uh you need to try to get 25 of these ordered in the next uh in one week and five days left to buy uh so we can get them and, and all the proceeds go to extra life which goes on to uh aid of course like uh, a child's play and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, so go again, teespring.com slash ictb.com for your extra life t shirts. Help it out it's for a great cause and it helps all our friends over at insert coin to begin.com. So just a little quick plug. So let's get right back to the movies. Malenga, what else we got here? All right, let's talk some quick movie news. Um, I actually just pulled this up because I thought this was interesting. The, it seems like the Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels, Dumb and Dumber, Dumber, er, 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 two pictures. This is, uh, yeah, I saw these earlier. Uh, I'll see if I can pull up this picture here. Uh, but it's so weird to me that, <laughs> I just saw it. It's so weird to me that, um, whoops. Uh, I, this is the guy that I just watched the finale of Newsnight or Newsroom 
Uh, I know, it's like not- awesome speech about what Republicans really are about. And here he is in Dumb and Dumber. Uh, so <laughs> that's amazing. Um, I, I, I guess I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's um, I, I keep forgetting that this is the guy. I mean, this is the same guy that was in Speed, right? This is his partner that got blown up at the beginning, right? Yeah. Like, this guy has crazy. done a lot of stuff. And now, like, I know him for his, like, really awesome acting on Newsroom. Um, and and, I don't know, it's cool. I, but again, back to the well, I I hope, I hope it does turn out being a good movie. I hope this isn't another movie that Jim Carrey doesn't denounce afterwards, like with Kick-Ass 2, you know, uh, but hey, we'll see. (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, that's definitely one day I'll be interested to see what these two do. I mean, it's 20 years since the last, uh, since the last uh, movie came out, so it'll be interesting well, to since see. The, since the last real movie came out, because they did have one with like a younger Dumb and Dumber, like when when they met or something like that. I I didn't even bother seeing it uh, yeah. years ago. So, all right, so let's uh, let's continue. What's on our agenda next? Oh, okay, yeah. Like I said, this is a sadly enough. This is a short week. I am sorry, Internet. Next week, hopefully, you know, we will be. I will be more prepared and have more uh, stuff to share in the world of the news. But anyway, opening this week, (laughs) this movie, there are actually two movies. I actually had a chance to uh, see Don John and, uh, yeah, you know, I just saw the first ad like that I had seen for it, like on mm -hmm. Hulu or something. What the heck is this movie about? (laughs) It's it's a play on, Human, I think I would. I mean, this is my analysis, my opinion. It's a play on human emotion towards interactions with other humans pertaining to females. So, how I think that a guy addicted to pornography reacts in a situation where there is a real female. So, separating the the movie and fantasy. In real life, huh. so that that is what I believe it comes down to. I had a chance to see this for free. We missed it by fifteen minutes. It was sold out for a free showing. So, yeah, but uh, but yeah, that's one that I mean, it's been getting good reviews. It has an eighty-one right now on Rotten Tomato. Um, so I and I think that's uh, the critics. So that's awfully generous for the critics. Usually I, I don't take the critics that well. I like to see what the fans actually think. So it'll be interesting to see, because you know this is going to have a guy. Actually, I don't know. This demographic is going to be probably split. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. But the big one that I'm excited to see is Rush. Mm-hmm. And Rush has our good boy Thor in it. Uh, Chris, Chris Helmsworth with his great... Great uh, British accent. I have no, I have no idea what kind of accent that is. <laughs> but Olivia Wilde's in it. That's that's interesting. That's a plus. Yes, but yeah, this is the one that uh, if you like racing, I know all the NASCAR people out there are going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, awesome. But you know, what I mean, I'm excited. Although it's not, it, it isn't NASCAR though. It it's not NASCAR. Be. It's uh, Formula One. Yeah. But uh, I just, I, it just looks so nicely done. It looks very well shot. It seems like there's going to be good tension, good story. So I'm excited. Uh, I just, I pulled up this page by accident on uh, Ryan Tomato. His lowest rated movie was Red Dawn. Oh wow! I could have, I could have seen that coming. Um, we, and I, and I heard like a little bit of talk about this movie over the last couple of days. They said it's, it's, uh, there was a good mix of being a a low, or I'm sorry, a independent film with a big Hollywood feel. Uh, you know, of course, with the Ron Howard hmm. uh, influence and everything. So that that's the first kind of uh, a little bit of re- mini review I've heard out of it. So definitely looking forward to it. I mean, it's definitely going to be one I'm, I, I want to enjoy sitting down with, you know, when it gets on HBO here in a bit. But that's kind of my, you know, my way of watching my movies. So, yeah. So, I mean, I'm definitely excited. So just so people know, the way I usually rate movies, um, I, I kind of not quite taken from the Netflix rating queue, but uh if it's a movie that I am really excited to see, I will give it like a, a full like five stars or whatnot. That's one that I would say go see it, pay full price. Yeah. If it's a movie that I am 
fairly interested to see. So I would say my like four star or whatnot. That's one that I usually say like, yeah, you know, go pay matinee. It's worth, you know, going out, pay it cheap, enjoy it. You know, have a good, have a good night, evening type event. If it's, uh, if it's one that I, I want to see, but you know, I'm not that excited for, I would say that's a, a spend some effort to go to one of those red boxes that you see in your local grocery store or pharmacy and maybe, you know, wait till that movie comes out on DVD and scrub through the list. And then my final ratings, the ones that doesn't mean, you know, they suck, but they're ones that I'll wait for them to come to me are Netflix. And that's where I pay money to Netflix to send me stuff in the mail because I still use that service Mm -hmm. or I wait for it to come streaming. (laughs) And so my zero rating would be just don't see it. Yeah. yeah. Which is where Rapture Palooza is. You're like, I should yeah, even check it out on Netflix. Watch it if it comes on by accident on television. <laughs> or if it's in, As, if it's well, in your Netflix like, That'll take a while since I'm a cord cutter, so. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, this is where, like, if you have it in your Netflix queue, you kind of forget about it. And then it's like, oh, oh, this is what I'm watching. <laughs> it's the next that. movie that comes up after Hot Tub Time Machine. I'm like, oh, yes. what's this thing about? Wait, was this even in the theaters? It must have been straight to DVD. You know, it was uh, in theaters. I think it was in theaters for a week. <laughs> like I, don't, oh gosh. Anyway. But, but no, I mean that's the that's the that's the feel you get from Netflix. Is like we flipped through and like I saw a movie with like the one guy from Transformers and Bruce Willis and somebody else that was actually kind of a big name. And it was something about like a fireman that gets that that gets framed for burning something down or something and. And uh, and it it becomes like and I'm like this looks like a movie that should have been in the theater, you know, with the people in it and everything. But I think there's just this like sub market where we're just like we're just going to have the stuff out the DVD. We're not going to put bother putting the stuff in the theaters. This is Steven Spielberg. Good movies, good theater movies are not going to come out as much. I was looking up yeah. Apple trailers before the show, and, I, and there's two movies. The two I was actually interested in are actually coming soon on digital download in iTunes, not the theater. You know, in that case, if you're wondering, it was, uh, Zero Charisma, which is the nerdest thing, and uh, Ghost Team, Team 1, which I just discovered, uh, looks it could be maybe funny or completely stupid. Um, so I mean, this 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 is changed. It's not just the theaters anymore, you know. Um, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, definitely. Even if you notice, Vimeo has gone to a new model where now you can purchase um, shorts and indie films on their website for like one ninety nine rental. Nice. So I mean, I, th- I definitely think it's going that model. It's breaking with down televisions. Man. It's breaking down. You're, yeah. I, I think your movie theaters are going to get more specialized with our IMAX screens and our 3D, and you're going to see your Thors and Avengers and Dark Knights, um, and then everything else, they're not even going to bother. If it's not a thing that the teenagers are going to go out to, it's not a thing that uh, people are going to spend a butt ton of money like you know something insane like Iron Man, um, I think more of that stuff gets shoveled off to uh you know uh, uh walmart dvd exclusive or itunes or digital download or or uh, vimeo did you say vimeo yeah vimeo vimeo voodoo you know who whatever other alternatives xbox live you know sony playstation because that that's i think i think this is this is the breakdown i think i think we're on the verge of of the collapse of the movie industry as far as the multitude of movies that we see out there Mm, yeah, but I don't know. The way the movie industry works, I mean, they all there's always that like diamond in the rough. So I think they're they're willing to take a loss for that big for that big hit. So you might yes, you might just see crappier movies in the theaters <laughs> well, as we'll opposed see. to quality movies. But I, I don't think the I like the movie theater experience is definitely one that will be missed if it goes away, and that's why I'm hoping that it stays around enough so that you can go and see the big name movie on the big screen because no bit. I understand there's like 60 inch televisions and you know, you have your projectors now, but it doesn't really, you know, you have that experience of people around you. If if they're annoying and that's still that experience, that's rare too. That's where the people have, I'm not so much rare. I think people are getting bigger and bigger TVs when they get a TV now. Um, but I mean, having that, somebody having like the, the big screen and the Blu-ray player and surround sound system, they're trying to mimic that. 
I mean, that's not everybody. I mean, I don't have a yeah. sound system, I'm, but I have a 42 inch. You know, but I don't yeah. have a Blu-ray player. But I get everything HD off of Netflix and HBO and all that stuff, or or or, or ultraviolet copy. You know, like I said, I bought mm-hmm. a, uh, the the triple you know digital copy DVD Blu-ray combo pack because I know well eventually I have a Blu-ray player. I'll have a DVD copy for now, and I can put an HD ultraviolet copy on my Xbox and watch that. And that's exactly how it is. The last two DVDs I bought, I haven't put the disc in a machine yet. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> And I wonder how much that's going to start happening. You go to Walmart, everything has an ultraviolet copy. I'm half tempted to pick up the Batman 4-pack just to get like digital copies of Batman, you know? Um, yeah. It's, it's crazy. And, and if I'm really kind of pinning my hopes on this ultraviolet actually working as far as this idea goes. Only time will tell. Mm-hmm. But hey, man, I, uh, I actually have to, I have to go. Well, <laughs> I have to go back there (laughs) yeah that that's my exit key for tonight finish what i'm working on and then my vacation starts awesome awesome well have fun with that will you be back in time for next week's show uh yes i will be i will be back on saturday actually awesome so and i will be seeing rush and maybe some other stuff cool so and uh, yeah, actually next time um, we could talk. We could talk about it next time. But I would like uh, people to start considering uh, a Pittsburgh movie meetup. Let us know if that's something that you'd be interested in. Mm-hmm. Let us know here in the chat here live dot Malengo, you're at, of course at Rambling Mango. I know you've been tweeting out movie news all week and everything. Yep. Um, and of course, uh, all your stuff, uh, your 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 site. Of the name is the rambling mango dot com. Yeah, so, you should actually stop showing that page because it's going to disappear. Well, I mean, we've, we're, <laughs> we're showing that there's a website and there is some sort of web comic here that people can go see about Jack yeah. the Giant Slayer from from March of this year. Uh, so, oh gosh, I mean, another horrible movie. There's actually some <laughs> funny comic strips up there. Yeah. So yeah, that's that is a place where you can at least get an idea of what I do. Yep, so go check that out. Thanks, Malengo. And uh, again, we're here 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time every week at live.sorgatronmedia.com if you want to join us. And, of course, all the rest of the stuff over at sorgatronmedia.com. Um, and pick us up on uh, our audios on iTunes, our videos on youtube.com slash sorgatronmedia if you want to subscribe there. Uh, we're probably eventually going to get a Sorgatron Media, I'm sorry, a, a you know Movie Minute uh, YouTube page up and running, uh, but we just haven't got around to it just yet. we got a lot of stuff going on here, Malengo. Oh, yeah, I know. It's crazy. (laughs) So we'll see you guys next week.